Hello and welcome to this um, video tutorial. Um, in this one what we're going to be doing um, is talking about Ajax and, and it's an introduction to um, Ajax. So first of all what is Ajax? Uh, Ajax is basically um, sending data back um, from your website um, to the server without a page refresh therefore um, the page wouldn't refresh and you wouldn't have to click any buttons for it to reload again it does it all in the background it sends a request off in the background the user never notices it um, and then you'd use the um, JavaScript to then to manipulate the page to enter the data in or you might not want to change the page you might just want to send data back to the server to, to update something okay it's done with JavaScript you have to have a server-side um, language in the background like PHP or Perl or ASP.NET and so on um, in order to actually start doing um, some Ajax requests so you need to know um, how to use um, JavaScript and then some server-side language okay in this scenario we're going to be using JavaScript um, with the jQuery framework which we're going to download in a minute and then also um, PHP as well okay PHP 5.3 at the moment okay and also later in the later um, video we're going to be using the MySQL as well okay so let's get started the first thing which we need to do is to download the jQuery library okay and if you just go to jQuery.com um, you'll see this download jQuery okay just click on here and then the best one to have um, is the fastest loading one is download the compressed product uh, production jQuery 1.9.1 1 .1, um, or depend on what the version is at the time of watching this video okay and you'll get some sort of text like this so just copy all this text and then all we need to do is basically um, add it into your jQuery okay I've already got a folder with um, the jQuery.js in it and it's already got all this text in there so that's all you basically have to do is just um, add all this text to a JavaScript or just to a JS file, .js file, um, and that's it. Okay, now what I've also got um, here is then a, a uh, another script file. Okay, with nothing in it so far, and um, which we're going to do all of our um, AJAX or JavaScript in here um, to do the AJAX um, request. Now, as you can see on this web page at the moment, um, just close this down you can see that I've just made this kind of um, little box up um, this form up um, with just this entry bit uh, this input text box for the, the data then a button then a text area here okay um, nothing happens at the moment with it okay because we're going to link up um, this button to send back this data and then display the response from the um, the server in here without a page refresh okay so without further ado let's just go through a little bit of naming conventions of these boxes okay first of all this one input box here okay is called with an ID of input underscore text okay so that's the one we're going to reference it by uh, this big um, text area is called um, response text so response with a big T for the text okay and this button has an ID as well and this is just a, a normal um, type button uh, with the name of call underscore back underscore btn okay these are important for our JavaScript because we're going to um, use jQuery and JavaScript to insert and extract data from uh, these things and obviously add an event handler on, side on that button okay so um, now that we've got jQuery downloaded and installed uh, we need to include it with inside of our HTML page so we just open up um, a script tag with inside of the head and just say type equals JavaScript okay and then source equals um, and then I've got mine in the JS and then jQuery.js uh, and then close this down and I'm just going to copy this so that's the jQuery included okay it's important that we have the jQuery and then also then change this then to script so we can actually include the script file as well okay so there's nothing really more important than this in here I've just got a, a, a wrapper with a title and then you can see the input text input text here okay and then also then the call back or the call underscore back underscore btn and then the text area with an ID of response text nothing more than that there's no tricks to this whatsoever nothing extra um, included alright just the simplest form of, of HTML so let's go over to our um, script file now with jQuery the first thing we want to do is actually attach this event handler for the button um, once the page has been loaded therefore we say um, document.ready 
okay obviously we're using then um, the selector using jQuery like that when I say document I mean that's what we're selecting is the document and we're going to use the function of ready okay so we just finish that off and inside of this um, we're then going to make a function so we're passing as an argument into this ready function um, a, an, a, um, a function as well okay and with inside of this function actually we just pop that over to the left because we actually don't need this okay so this basically will do everything with inside of this function once the, once the page has been loaded okay and the first event handler which we want to set is for the um, the button which was um, call underscore back underscore btn obviously with jQuery the selector for an ID is using the pound sign therefore we're saying hey um, select the, um, the the element that has an ID of call underscore back underscore btn and we're going to set the event handler uh, on the click okay on the click event so that's uh, that bit done okay so this is now the event that which we're going to be calling okay once it's going to be clicked um, what we're going to do is we're going to send our Ajax um, query or request back okay and what we're going to use is the dollar uh, the dollar sign dot and then post so we're going to do a post request now this post request takes three arguments okay the first argument is the file on the server side which you're going to be sending it to okay in this case we have an ajax.php okay which is um, which is empty at the moment okay um, which is on the same level as the index.php page all right so all we need to put in here is ajax.php it's a relative path to it all right now then let's just close this off the second argument is then an object for all of the um, parameters within inside of the post request um, that we're going to send now on the server side we're going to extract them with the the post super global now for the time being we're not going to send anything back and then finally once the um, once the callback has been finished um, the the dollar sign post um, function from uh, jQuery is going to call this function that we give it okay and it's going to pass into this function uh, one argument which is filled with the response text from the server okay so all of the data which comes back from the server is going to be within inside of this variable as in a textual form okay so that's what we need to do there so function data so this is the function which is going to get called once the request has come back from the server it's then going to call this function okay now um, what we're going to do is in the beginning we're just going to say um, if I can remember what it was called so we're going to take the ID of response text and we're just going to chuck all of the data um, inside of this okay so we're just going to say hey we're going to use the selector of um, response rep uh, response text of an ID using the hashtag and inside of the value uh, we're just going to put data okay so all we're doing at the moment is we're sending something back and we're receiving it in, in a textual form and placing it with inside of our, our text area okay so uh, we're going to click this button it's going to go back to the server and we're going to put all the response text in here without a page refresh okay now at the moment nothing's going to happen and I can show you nothing's going to happen so we just have to refresh this page completely so we we first of all load um, jQuery which you can see here jQuery has been loaded okay uh, and also uh, we want to now come to console with firebug this is firebug an add-on for um, Firefox which is really cool so you can see the um, the uh, d d d d the request the Ajax request in the background um, okay so let's just click the Ajax callback button and as you can see here the request went in the background okay so there was no page refresh and we can keep doing this as many times as you want and you can see here that we get response um, code of 200 and then the status of OK okay and it took like 8 milliseconds and another one so these are all going back now in here you can see that we posted nothing back so no um, parameters which we posted back and the response was nothing then the headers here um, you can see all of the different um, request headers and the response headers and so on okay so it's nothing more than that now let's actually send some data back shall we so with inside of our ajax.php this is where the response is going to be sent now because we want to be working with PHP we're going to open some PHP tags and all we're going to say is uh, echo I um, am sent back from the server okay nothing more than that okay so that's now the ajax.php file 
Now if we come back to here, we don't need to refresh the page because we don't need to reload this one page. We've just say we've just updated something on the server and this page at the moment is on client side okay so it's on my side and the ajax.php is on the server side therefore we do the response and it will get the updated version so we click the ajax callback button and as you can see here we get the information come back from the server and we place it into our text area okay and with inside of this you can see uh, under the response tab you can see I am sent send Christ David so excuse me sent back from the server so let's do that again I'm sent back from the server that's better okay so let's just get rid of that one and you can see here response I am sent back from the server and as you can see there we've got two requests already we can change um, the data in here um, changed data for example we can come back to here without a page refresh and we can click it again and you can see here change data so you potentially with Ajax anything on the server side it doesn't care about the client side right it just sends it back in textual form now let's now send back uh, some information from our side back to the server you know this is where it becomes more interesting now because you want to be able to send data back as well rather than just receive data so let's just take my name for example or oh, and actually we need to do this code first of all so let's come back to our script.js and we want to add um, a parameter with inside of the, uh, with inside of the request okay so what we're going to do is we're going to say um, person name now this is a um, a name value pair okay Th this is basically a javascript object okay therefore the first value is um, a, a, a property of the object and that property is called person's name this will be the key for the post variable okay when I say the key for the post variable so we're gonna we're gonna retrieve it like this so this is gonna be person name okay and, and so on so we're gonna say we're gonna do this um, as we go along I'm gonna say person name save it as a variable equals post person name okay so that's what we we're, we're sending back and we're retrieving on the server side now the information is going to come from this text there th this text box okay and that had an ID of input text so we copy this come back to our code here okay and we use jQuery once again so we're going to get an ID we're going to use the hashtag and then put input text in here and we're getting the value therefore we just use the dot value and then close this off you don't uh, close it off with a semicolon that's just my fingers doing it automatically because there's no other um, options here we don't need to put a comma at the end now if we did put a secondary um, thing in here we would have to separate them with comma so they're comma separated now it wouldn't be logical to send that back twice so we're not going to okay so let's get rid of that comma now we can refresh this page once again okay on here obviously now you need a full re page refresh on here to reload the JavaScript now we're going to send back whoops okay let's come to the console so we can see the request going back click Ajax callback button and you can see that we're sending back person name uh, is David Thorne now it's time to actually retrieve that from um, the server so we can just get rid of this now because that was boring okay, and we say person name sent this data okay so this is what we're retrieving from the um, from the server let's send this one call once again okay so let's clear clear this okay and as you can see there we can keep doing it and you get all these requests down the bottom okay now at the moment we're sending a post request now you might be asking how do I send a post and get request at the same time that's a little bit weird isn't it you know normally you can't you can't mix the two as you go back hmm or can you so let's put a question mark at the end of this and we'll say um, Ajax equals true okay so actually in the URL that we're sending back first of all we're gonna use the get global to to basically work out hey is this Ajax so let's go go back to the ajax.php and we want to know that this file only works if there's an Ajax request coming back we don't want someone to put this in the browser and be able to read it straight away so we're just going to say is set and we don't want post we want get and we're oh, god dear and say Ajax okay 
Now, by just by saying true in it, in there, it's just basically uh, making sure that it's set. Because if we don't put anything in it, then basically it will just be empty. So it's a, it's a better way of being sure that we actually can um, retrieve, make sure that the, the um, request is there. So now, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and we're going to place it in here. So if someone does um, navigate to this one page explicitly, then they're not going to get anything. Okay. So now let's come back here and we'll click Ajax callback. Okay. And we don't get anything now, see, because the Ajax um, equals true is not on the URL yet because we haven't reloaded the page. So let's reload the page. Now it will work because if we come on to um, our script bit, we can see in here now it's been loaded with um, that here. So that's the that's the request which is going to be sent back first of all. So we're going to be able to pick up the query string um, on the server side. Now click Ajax callback. Okay, sent this data. No one sent this data, but by saying sent this data, we know that it works. Okay, which means we know that. Um, we got the request we got the get variable okay now if we now just basically uh, attach onto here say get ajax okay so you can see the data as well that we can use the post and the get at the same time okay let's send it back again and you can see true All right so we've been able to do a post request we've been able to read the get as well so you can basically mix and match the two but but remember on the the submission on this one on this one here, any parameters that you put with inside of this post, okay, you'll only be able to retrieve um, using the post super global um, with PHP on the server side. Okay, um, that's this tutorial done. Okay, I hope you learned something. Now there's more to it than this, but I think this gives you enough information to be able to to go one step further on. But this is only part one, and we're going to get to part two in a minute, doing a, something a little bit more fun. Okay. Alright, that's it. Thank you very much. My name's David Thorne. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, subscribe if you, you like it. Comment if you, there's something else that you want to see. Okay, rate it. Do whatever you've got to do. Okay, um, you can come to um, thornwebdesign.com uh, as well to view these videos. Uh, or you can go onto YouTube and view them. Okay, thanks very much for watching um, and I'll, I wish you a nice day. Bye bye then.